In this video, we're going to look at angles in triangles. The first thing to remember that angles in the triangle all add up to 180 degrees. So the three angles add up to 180 degrees. So we're going to use that to work out what the missing angles are in these examples. So taking the first example, what I'm going to do is add the 40 and the 55 together and then take it away from 180 to find out what the green star is. So 40 add 55, it's going to be 0 add 5 is 5, 4 add 5 is 95, so they add to get 95. So if I take them away from 180, that's going to tell me what the green star is. Yeah, so I need to borrow, 10 take away 5 is 5, 7 take away 9 can't do, so I need to borrow again. 17 take away 9 is uh, 8, and uh, 0 take away 0 is nothing. So green star is 85 degrees. Let's go on to the second example. Um, now what you need to remember here is that this box here means that this is a right angle, i.e. it's 90 degrees. So I'm going to add my two angles I know about together first, as I did before. Uh, so that's going to be 8, and that's going to be 138. And then to find the blue star, I'm going to take 138 away from 180. So again, I'm going to need to borrow here. Uh, that's going to get 2. 7 take away 3 is 4. 1 take away 1 is 0. So my blue star is 42 degrees, and that's my answer. Let's move on to some special triangles. Now these are special triangles, and they're denoted by the with these two lines here. That means that those these two sides here are equal, and this is called an isosceles triangle. It also means that these angles here are also equal. So the red circle is 75 degrees in this question. So to find the blue cross, all we'd now need to do is 180 minus 75 minus 75, which is 30 degrees. So the blue cross is 30 degrees. Now move on to the second uh, example. Again, we've got an isosceles triangle here. We've got these two sides of the same length, so these angles are the same. But, and what we know is the odd angle at the moment, that's 40. Well, what we can do is work out how much the two angles must add up to be by taking 40 away from 180, so we get 140. So the two red circle angles in this question must add up to 140. They're the same, so I can just then divide 140 by 2, to split it exactly in half, so that would be 70. So each of these blue circles are 70 degrees. Last question here, this time we're given the fact that the angle is outside this circle. Well, we need to use uh, our knowledge that angles in a straight line is 180. So if this is 120, then this angle here is 60. Now we have an isosceles triangle, which means that these two angles are the same. So if that's 60 there, that must be 60. And to find the last angle, I just need to do 180 minus 60 minus 60, which is also 60. So all the angles are 60, which means that's an equilateral triangle. 